Jerry and Rita Alter were world travelers in a small New Mexico town with a secret. There was a stolen de Kooning painting behind their bedroom door. Home videos courtesy of Ron Roseman, compiled by Cheryl Evans, The Republic. Jerry and Rita Alter were world travelers in a small New Mexico town with a secret. There was a stolen de Kooning painting behind their bedroom door. Home videos courtesy of Ron Roseman, compiled by Cheryl Evans, The Republic. On her first day on the job, Yori Frost says she saw the painting hanging behind a bedroom door next to a Hoover vacuum. Frost had been hired in 2017 as a caregiver to Rita Alter, a widow in her early 80s with dementia, and Alter was giving her a tour of the three-bedroom home. When Alter closed the door to show where she kept the vacuum, Frost saw an abstract oil painting in a cheap gold frame. It appeared to be an image of a nude woman with splashes of vibrant color. Oh my goodness, that is such an ugly painting, Frost blurted out, even though she meant to keep her opinions to herself. Alter looked at her disapprovingly. Honey, if you knew how much that painting was worth, you would eat your words, Alter said. Lady, you have dementia, Frost thought. This painting isn't worth anything. The de Kooning painting was found behind the bedroom door of an elderly couple, Jerry and Rita Alter, who lived 225 miles away from Tucson in Cliff, New Mexico. After Alter's death later that year, the antique store owners who bought the painting in an estate sale discovered the painting was, in fact, an original by the artist Willem de Kooning, who named it Woman Ochre. It had been stolen in 1985 from the University of Arizona Museum of Art in Tucson. The theft was brazen and bewildering, the getaway swift, the trail of clues sparse and long since dried up. None of their relatives could explain how the painting, years later, ended up in their house. Could this pair of retirees in southwestern New Mexico have pulled off such a clean heist? Suddenly, Rita and Jerry Alter were infamous. The painting had been damaged in the theft and had faded with decades of neglect. Museum officials send it away for restoration. Now, as the restored painting goes back on display in Tucson in October, newly released FBI documents and more than a dozen new interviews by the Arizona Republic raise new questions about who might have been involved in the theft and about the couple's extensive art collection beyond the de Kooning. Summaries of FBI interviews support Frost's story, suggesting that shortly before her death, Rita Alter acknowledged to her caregiver that she knew the painting was valuable, and to yet another suggested there was more hidden art on the property. Who are Jerry and Rita Alter? Missing de Kooning painting found in couple's home The stolen Willem de Kooning painting, Woman Ochre, was found in the home of Jerry and Rita Alter in Cliff, New Mexico, during an estate sale. Cheryl Evans, Arizona Republic. The documents reveal that other valuable artwork was found in the Alters estate as well, including two paintings by Western artists whose work typically sells for in the six figures. A year after the de Kooning discovery, the FBI investigated the Alters in connection with the theft of a Navajo blanket from another Arizona museum but didn't find the blanket. The FBI still wants say if agents believe the retired couple was the thieves, if there were accomplices, or if the Alters were linked to other art thefts. But the newly released documents and interviews provide a more complete picture of the New York City transplants and how they lived quietly, for nearly four decades, in a house atop a mesa deep in Ranchland, a spot where they would have seen visitors coming long before they arrived. Woman Ochre, an abstract painting by Willem de Kooning, was stolen from the University of Arizona in 1985 and found in 2017 in the bedroom of Jerry and Rita Alter in Cliff, New Mexico, after their deaths. Herman Jerome Jerry Alter was born in New York City in 1930. His family had a store that sold old furniture and knickknacks. His future wife, Sarah Rita Sanofsky, was born in 1935 in New Jersey. Her family ran a newspaper delivery business. They met at a hotel in the Catskill Mountains in 1955, where Alter played clarinet in a jazz band and Sanofsky had gone to be a waitress. When she got there, she discovered there wasn't a job opening, so she went to a cafe to mull her predicament. That's where Alter spotted her and struck up a conversation, according to their nephew, Ron Roseman, who is executor of his aunt's estate, Jerry and Rita Alter in 1957. The Alters lived in New York City at the same time a Dutch-American artist, Willem de Kooning, was making a name for himself in the city. De Kooning shocked the art world in the 1950s with a series known as the Women Paintings. They were dramatic, aggressive depictions of women with big mouths, wide eyes and exaggerated breasts. One of the women paintings, made in the winter of 1954-55, featured a nude woman with breasts accented in yellow. De Kooning added hues of turquoise, green, crimson and orange against a neutral background. 
He sold the work, titled Woman Ochre, along with several other paintings, to Martha Jackson, a New York City art gallery owner. Jackson exhibited the paintings at her art gallery in 1955. Whether Jerry or Rita saw the painting while it was on exhibit, or knew or crossed paths with de Kooning, remains a mystery. The Alters were known to appreciate art and to visit museums. The couple lived in New York City and had a son, Joseph, in 1962 and a daughter, Barbara, 13 months later. Jerry was a professional jazz musician, playing saxophone and clarinet. He commuted from the leafy suburb of Kloster, New Jersey, to Manhattan where he worked as a music teacher at P.S. Jerry Alter with Nina Beck in 1967 at P.S. Alter taught orchestra at the school. Nina Beck, a former student, remembered him as sweet and kind. Beck later became a professional musician and reconnected with her former teacher in 2010 over email, where he shared his teaching philosophy with her. He said he wanted his students to develop a love for music, pride in performing and create happy memories. To teach is to touch a life forever, he wrote. Claudette Laureano was an elementary school student of Jerry Alter's in the 1960s, and remembers him playing the students' classical music and show tunes from musicals like West Side Story. She learned to play the recorder in his class, he would bring in his clarinet and play, he played beautifully, she said. Jerry Alter left the school in 1967, according to his former students. He said he had been passed over for a promotion. He decided to retire early at age 47 and get out of the rat race, said Roseman, the couple's nephew. The altar's next stop would be about as far as one could get from New York City. A windmill spins in Cliff, New Mexico, on August 16, 2022. From NYC to rural New Mexico, the altars used money Rita inherited from her mother to buy property in 1974 in a mountain valley, surrounded by ranch land in southwestern New Mexico, Roseman said. He said they likely researched potential retirement spots and may have picked Cliff because it was affordable and remote. Cliff has fewer than 200 people. Ranch houses and mobile homes. The rolling landscape. The Gila River winds its way through the unincorporated town. Barbara, Jerry, and Rita Alter in an undated family photo. The Alters were transplants from New York City who moved to Cliff, a ranching town in southwestern New Mexico, in 1977. The Alters purchased 20 acres on top of a mesa.